so suppose that pakistan and australia are playing a cricket world cup match okay so what are the options if pakistan wins the toss the probability of pakistan winning the match is 0.4 similarly if pakistan loses the toss the probability that pakistan wins the match is 0.23 so last time we have discussed this problem in which the winning probability of different teams were calculated on the basis of its capability to win the toss and losing it. For it we have used different theorems of probability and calculated the winning probability of Pakistan while the dependency was on the toss. Similarly the theorem on total probability was also discussed and on the basis of eight different probabilities were calculated and that was all about the previous question so this was the diagram and we have discussed it very briefly so let us go behind <laughs> As we have discussed, the tree diagram we have constructed previously was basically composed of these branches. So the first branch was coming out of this toss and the winning probability of Pakistan or Australia were basically dependent upon the toss. So the probability of winning the toss of Pakistan was 0.5 and the same probability was given to the winning of Australia because of the availability of a fair coin. After it, what we have done, we have seen that as Pakistan will win the toss, the probability of its winning from the Australia is basically 0.4. Okay, so up to this point, everything was clear. But to clarify what we have done previously was that we have basically constructed another branch at this point here in order to avoid the confusion. So in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to illustrate it very concisely and very briefly that the tree diagram the actual tree diagram was basically here so after it if pakistan will lose the toss i mean that if australia will win the toss so the probability of pakistan winning the match will be 0.23 so, okay so that is the overall diagram and i have avoided it in order to reduce the confusion because here it can it was basically possible that you guys can understand it like if australia will win the toss the probability of its winning will be 0.23 which is incorrect if pakistan will lose the toss the probability of its winning will be 0.23 okay so after it what will happen Pakistan can also win the toss but lose the match and the probability of losing in that case will be 0.6 similarly if Pakistan lose the toss and also lose the match the probability of it will be 0.77 and all of this will be related to the Pakistan winning the match so this is the actual tree diagram and I have illustrated and went back to the problem in, in order to avoid all the confusions which previous solution of the question might have created so that is all about the confusions the previous video has created and most of the people asked me about the things so it was all about the confusion avoidance tactics and to illustrate and to avoid all those confusion i have made this video so i think now it is clear so thank you for all of you to understand all the concepts and giving me the feedback about your understanding so Take care of yourself and I will come back with some more questions and some more solution. Thank you so much.